Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, October 17th, um, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. I see lots of people joining in already. So come on in, come on in. Get ready for a fun stamping night. And I have tons and tons and tons of birthday cards to show you guys. <laughs> I got home from work last night and my mailbox was totally overflowing with birthday cards. So I was so excited. It took me about 30 minutes to go through them all. And uh, so I'm gonna show you all the ones I got yesterday and the day before. Um, well, not the day before, Saturday. I got some Saturday. Yes, Sunday was the day before that. So <laughs> we don't get mail on Sunday. <laughs> So hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? Yes, my birthday is tomorrow. And a lot of you guys have um, sent me messages that my card will be late. That's okay. I like to celebrate my birthday all year. I mean, all, all year long. <laughs> all month long. <laughs> so you guys can just keep sending me cards all month. <laughs> But I'm not going to have another video till Saturday. So you guys really have till, um, well, it'll be Friday would be the last day that you can uh, get a card here in time for the contest. So um, if you haven't heard, I'm having a birthday card contest. So I was going to pick the top three, but now I think I'm going to pick the top five because I'm telling you what, these cards are amazing. I have never seen such incredible cards in my life. You guys are out doing yourselves. I am not kidding. These cards are so fantastic. I was just like, wow, <laughs> you're putting me to shame. <laughs> I'm like, my cards are like really simple and basic compared to a lot of these cards I got for my birthday. So uh, wait till you see them. So let me say hello to everybody. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Beth. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Myra. Hey, Jody. Hey, Carol. Hey, Tony. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Susan. I guess that's Susan or Suzanne, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, let me see. Mary, Judith, Carrie. Uh-oh. Everybody just went flying by. <laughs> it's funny, like, when everybody gets a notification, then, like, 25 or 30 people hop on at the same time and all these um, messages come through. Let me see, where did I stop? Hey, Gloria. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Linda. Um, hey, Brenda. Hey, Denise. Hey, Diane. Hey, Mary Sarah. Uh, let me see. Oh, my gosh. We've got so many people on now. Okay, now I lost track where I was. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. <laughs> but hello, everyone, everyone. Oh, Linda, your sister's birthday is tomorrow. What a great day to have a birthday. So I'm excited. I was going to take the day off, but, um, you know, what happened was I got COVID like three weeks ago and I had a dentist appointment to get my, um, I had a temporary crowns on. And so I'm getting my final crown and my dentist appointment was the week I had COVID. So I had to call and reschedule. And when I called to reschedule, the only date in October they had available was my birthday. So I'll be going to the dentist tomorrow in the morning. And then I, the dentist is across the street from work. And I said, well, if I'm across the street from work, I might as well go to work. So I decided I'm just going to go to work because I had to take like a ton of pile time when I was out. Uh-oh, I just got blurry. Hold on, let me refresh that. Yeah, but it's okay. My coworkers were so sweet. They, uh... They didn't know I was going to work tomorrow, so they brought me a bunch of stuff yesterday, and it was so sweet. I got lots of nice little gifts from my front office group, so that was really nice. Oh, you guys can see, like, in the corner here is the, um, all these pile of cards. So, let me show, this is a card we're making tonight using the Christmas Classic stamp set, so I just used these two stamps, and that's it. So only two stamps. It's pretty easy. This is the new card kit for the next two weeks. So until Halloween, you can get a set of um, supplies to make three of these cards. 
And look how cool that is. So I stole this idea from Susan Campfield. Um, probably a lot of you guys watch her. She's really good. She's another Stampin' Up! demonstrator on YouTube. And her um, YouTube channel is Susan Stampfield, even though her last name is Campfield. But you could search either one and find her that way. I don't know why I keep getting blurry on here. Um, I got this tickle in my throat. <coughs> mm. I don't want to be coughing. All right, let me show you. Let me get that out of the way. Show you some of these cards. They are, I have so many. They're like falling all over. That's not even all of them. All right, so this one is from Starla. And she sent me a really nice package with a gift. And it was like a framed art, but the frame broke. So I can't show it to you. But this is her card. So isn't that gorgeous with all that pretty um, glitter rib, I mean glitter paper. Gosh, I need to get a mint or something. <coughs> I haven't coughed all day long until I get on this stupid video. And now I'm gonna cough. Ugh, that's crazy. I was out working in the yard though, that's probably why. Okay, so let's close that one. Whoops. I guess it goes this way. Okay. All right, so that was Starla's. And it's got that cute little belly band. All right, this one is from Brenda Hafer. And she sent me a lot of fun folds. A little cute note. A lot of you guys sent really nice notes too. So that was hers. And next one is from Shanna Loitz. And this card, oh my gosh, was so beautiful. I don't know what embossing folder that is. I don't think it's stamping up, but it's so pretty. Love it. Love it, love it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Crazy. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it, love it. Oh. <laughs> That's something I would do. Okay, next one. This one is from Tashana Lundy. This is another really cute card. And she's got the raindrop embossing folder in the background with the little rabbit. Isn't that cute? Love these cards. So many were fun folds and um, they were just gorgeous. This one's from Twyla White. Twyla sent one of my favorite stamp sets. Isn't that cute? Love it. Gorgeous gold embossed. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like and share and comment and all that stuff. Are you guys getting blurry or is it just me? For some reason, my screen is blurred. And this card is also one of the same cards I'm doing today. So it's got that um, same kind of fun fold. Well, I don't know if it's a fun fold or it's just like you can see the front um, and the back of the piece of paper. The designer paper. Love it. And that was from Dolores Dowd. This one is from Robin Steyer. This is one of my favorite stamps from last year. That um, soft seedling. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm, mm, mm. I made a card kind of like this last year, too. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This one is from Evelyn Gote. And she did the um, fractured card or faux shutter card. Gorgeous. Love it with the, um, what is that called? Country something. Country something. And she, yep, yeah, she said, God bless you and your talent to teach us in so easy way. This was one of your videos. Thanks. <coughs> I love that. I love when you guys use my, my videos to make cards. All right, this one's really cute. It's a shaker card. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it, love it. And this one is from um, Anne Louise Tele Teleki. I think that's how you say it. Um, Let me see. This one is from Brenda West Westhafer. I have a Brenda Hafer and a Brenda Westhafer. Um, love this. I love that purple paper. Mm, 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 mm gorgeous. 
And I think this is actually sponged on top of designer paper. So pretty. Love it, love it. Um, <clears throat> gorgeous purple color. Love that one. This one is from Joyce Wickham, Wickman, Wickman, sorry, Joyce Wickman. And I love this one with that lacy border. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And you guys wrote such nice notes in there. I loved reading all of them. This one is from Susan Green. And this one is a um, fun fold card that stands up like that. Using that gorgeous bumblebee, that queen bee. This is an online only exclusive, so you can get that um, online. It's not in the catalog, but it's online. So um, you can still get it, it's still available. This paper is not, this is a retired paper, but um, the bee set is still available. So you can still get it. Um, this one is from Sherry Niebauer, or Niebauer, I can never remember. Why do I always forget how to say your last name? And this is a napkin card. And she even wrote in here, I think, how to say her name. <laughs> and she sent me some cash. I was like, oh my gosh. You are so sweet, Sherry. I love it, love it. I have to take that out so I don't lose it. Love it, love it. Thank you so much for that and I love 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 this card with the it's a napkin card and she embossed it with um I can't remember the name of that embossing folder <clears throat> I think I might have retired last year but it was like the poinsettia one kind of gorgeous and this one oh my gosh this one is from John in um the UK and it is absolutely gorgeous and I don't know what he did if that's gold um leafing or if it is just splattered with gold or what he did but it's so beautiful I love it love it love it so thank you thank you thank you John it says royal mail I love that oh this one is from Rebecca Chapman and this is another gorgeous card. They're all gorgeous. I just can't believe how beautiful these cards are. She wrote another nice note. I love the notes. You guys are so sweet. Oh my gosh, I love these cards. Um, this one is from Carrie Hamilton. That's another beautiful one. And I have a stack of this paper too. I have to use up. So I will copy that idea. I see a lot of ideas I'm going to copy. Vicki said she thinks it's gold leafing. I can't tell what it is. So, John, you're going to have to send me a message and tell me how you made that card because I want to copy that one. This one's from Jean Maxwell. And this is a fun fold one. Look at that. And I love it. It says, studies show those who have more birthdays live longer. <laughs> I got a joke for you guys tonight, too. That's cute. Love it. Love it. Um, this one is from, I don't know, I ripped off the name. Um, Linda Turner. Gorgeous, beautiful card. She made this with toilet paper. She said she put up like a few layers of the toilet paper and then embossed it. Um, several layers of TP. I have tried that a long, long, long time ago, but not in the recent year. So I'm going to have to look up how to do that again because I can't remember. I know you get the toilet paper wet. <clears throat> now this one, I think, this is another one just like the one I'm doing tonight. So, oh, I almost did this almost as that card. So this one is really pretty on the other side. The one I'm doing is not like really pretty on the other side, but it's still cool. But I love, love, love this um, paper. And it's supposed to be back in stock on Monday. So um, hopefully it will. This is Becky Willer, and this is another um, gift card holder, and she put some stamps in there, so thank you so much. I love it. I love the ones that have gifts in them. <laughs> my mailman must think I'm amazingly popular. I know. when I, I have never in my life seen my mailbox so full, and I, I opened it. I got home from work like 9.30 last night, and I opened the mailbox, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> And my hands were full because I had my 
my purse and my bag from work. So I had to go put all that down, come back outside to carry all the mail because I had so much. It was so funny. I was, I was so excited. And I just sat there and read all of these cards. And this is another one. I got some free stamps. This one's from Bonnie Blake. So thank you, Bonnie. Love it. And this is one of my favorite papers that we had last year. I hate it when we have gorgeous DSP and they take it away. Because that was one of my favorites. All right, we still have a bunch more. Um, Lynn Peck. This one is from Lynn Peck. And this is beautiful. And I have a ton of this paper, too. Thank you so much. Love it, love it. Love those colors. And she did the... This one I had to rip open. It was it was really stuck on there tight. But she did the, um, the flap, too. Love that. <clears throat> and this one's from Sue McVee. Or McVeigh. McVeigh. I loved this card. I don't... I did this one time a long time ago, but it's been a long time. So I'm going to have to go back and look at how I did it. But that was so pretty. Love that paper. I don't think it's stamping up, but it's beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it. Um, this one is from... Let me see. Kathy King. Gorgeous. Using that um, autumn leaf paper. Is that what it's called? Autumn leaves or autumn something. I can't even remember now. Thank you. Love that one. Another beautiful one with the daisy. And this is a fun fold. Like a triple fold. This is from Carol Helms. Love it. Love it. Love it. You can tell I had a good time last night looking through all these cards. This one is really pretty too. Look at that. Oh, you guys really did amazing jobs on these cards. Love them, love them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one is from Devonna Alderson. Let me get some water. And she said she... um copied this from Tina Zink's video and she said it turned out dark but she didn't have time to make another one but I think it's beautiful looks like it's embossed with a brick folder but I think it's really pretty so I don't know it looks good to me um this one's from Mary Bauer another fun fold love these fun folds I don't have to figure out how to do them Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love the gold on there. This one is from Ida Von Schalkwick. I know I said that wrong. And this one's really cool. It's a um, pool card. And pull it out and there's the cake. I was thinking it opened. Yeah, it does open too. Isn't that cute? She has the nicest handwriting. Oh, there it says... Ida von Schokrak. Okay. <laughs> I totally said that wrong. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt it. But I love it. It's a beautiful card. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right. We're almost done. This one is from Michelle Moore. She sent me a bunch. So we have this gorgeous one, which is embossed with that, um, what embossing folder is it? She said it in here, I think. I thought she said which one it was. Twisted rope. It's twisted rope. Gorgeous card. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. And then there's another one. This one also, same um, embossing folder. And this one's with the Fractured Technique. Love it. I'm using the glitter paper or glimmer paper. Gorgeous card. <clears throat> and she sent me a set of dies that she always uses. So I thought that was so sweet. And then another card. 
with a pelican. So thank you so much, Michelle. That was really sweet. I got a whole package. All right, last one. This is from Darlene Erickson. She sent me a whole pile of goodies too. So I got a Halloween cord. And that is so cute. And then this one pulls out like that. I've never made one of these cards, but I thought that was cute. So it pulls out. You got to get it just right, though. And she sent me a magnet, uh, magnetic bowl. And this holds all your dies. So you can put all your little dies in here so you don't lose them. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, my gosh. That was just amazing how many awesome bar cards I got. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <clears throat> so today... We are using this paper, which is the joy of Christmas, to make our cards. And so whatever paper you pick to do this technique, it shows the front and the back of the designer paper. So this one's gorgeous on the front, but the back, the back's okay, but um, it's just a cool technique. So I love it. You know what's really pretty paper to use is this paper right here. But... <clears throat> I didn't want to do two kits in a row with the same paper, so that's why I picked a different one. But this one has really pretty paper on the front. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's gorgeous. So this is a piece I'm using. And then we've also got the um, checkered one. Why do I have so many of these? Oh, oh, this must be more than one pack or something. Um, and this is another piece that I'm using for the... I'm not buffering with you guys. No, my phone's still going good, so we're okay. It's just my computer. This guy came today from the electric company and uh, changed out my meter thing. And when he did that, he cut the power off to the house, which shut my computer down. So I had to restart the computer, which is a pain in the butt. So now it's going really slow. So that is the paper in there, and it's gorgeous. I don't know if it's available right now. Do you guys know if it's available right now? I'm not sure. It seems like all the papers just keep selling out constantly, but maybe one day soon they'll all be here. Let me see. Oh, my computer's still spinning in a circle. Oh, there it goes. Let me catch up. Okay. All right. Let me read some comments and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, oh, don't forget to do thumbs up if you haven't done that yet. And um, also, um, the last day to order this kit was the 15th. So these I'll be cutting up in the next couple days and sending these kits out um, if you placed an order. And then this one today that we're doing, we're making three of these. And this will be the next kit for the next two weeks. And don't forget, we still have that starter kit special going on. Um, <clears throat> you can either get, um, let me see, $125 of product for $64, which is about half price. Or you can get $168 of product for $99. Both of them have free shipping, plus you get a paper pumpkin kit. And um, then you get your discount for at least through March or April. So it's a really good deal. All right, so here's what you need to do these cards. We're making three. So if you order and use the host code and your order's over $50, you'll get this kit right here. <clears throat> you'll get all this stuff already um, ready for you. So you need three pieces of six by five and a half. And I scored it at four and a quarter on the longest side. This is the six inch side. So that's sweet sorbet, which is really funny because on the back of the paper, it says um, the two colors that go with it or that are red are cherry cobbler and real red. But when I put the um, cherry cobbler, real red, and I pulled out sweet sorbet, <clears throat> I thought the sweet sorbet was really like the prettiest color with it. So that's why I picked that color. So I thought it just went really, really well, especially with these lighter ones. Look how pretty that is together. So 
All right, next thing you need <clears throat> is five and a quarter by four white for the inside. And then your three by five and a half designer paper, three of those. And this is really good to do if you have six by six paper because you can just cut it in half and then trim off that little um, half of an inch. And then three strips of one by five and a half sweet sorbet. And I embossed this one with the, um, this one, the uh, distress tile. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. I'm gonna show you how to cut one of these too. And then I've got three strips of five and a quarter by um, one half of the designer paper. And that's for the inside of your card. And then three of these um, circles punched out, which are not real circles. They are some kind of fun circle. I can't remember the name of it. <clears throat> Anybody remember what the name of this circle is? It's a circle punch in the big catalog. <laughs> Patricia says the dentist better have a candle in the dental floss. I know when I told the lady that it was my birthday and I said, oh man, I really don't want to spend my birthday at the dentist. She was like, oh. And my appointment was supposed to be 8 o'clock. She goes, well, why don't you sleep in a little bit and come in at 10? <laughs> I said, okay, thanks. So at least my appointment's not till 10 o'clock. But anybody know what the circle punch is? Here it is right here. I can't, I should write the name of these on here. But um, I can't remember what it is. Anybody know? That's a two-foot stack of um, cards that I got. I know it. It's crazy crazy how many birthday cards I got. I was so excited. You guys really love me, don't you? <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, oh, man, I missed a bunch of comments. Hold on. I'm like, way. All right. Nobody has the name of the punch. <laughs> um, thank you, Carol. All right. I'll look it up for you. Hold on. Let me get the catalog. It's right in the back. I can find it in like one minute. <clears throat> there it is. Decorative circle punch. So it's on page 148. Decorative circle. Oh, you guys found it just when I did. <laughs> okay. So this is all you need. I hope you got a screenshot of that. Let me straighten it out a little bit. I forgot to write that on. The, I should have written it on there. Then I would have known the name of it. But, oh well. <clears throat> so before we start, I'm going to show you how to cut that piece of paper. Just in case you want an easy trick of how to do it. So let me get a spare one. So start out with just a half a sheet of cardstock. So this one is actually, uh-oh, five and a half by eight and a half. So... If you start out with a whole sheet, cut it in half at five and a half. So this is a half a sheet. And then we want to cut it at six inches. So here's six inches all the way to the edge if you have the Stampin' Up cutter. And then cut it. So then you get this piece extra. And then we want to uh, um, score it at four and a quarter. So the same way you just cut it, you don't turn it or anything. You just keep it the same and you're going to score it like that so there we go so there's your cord and then you just you know crease it really good so that's the card front then you're left with this piece that you cut off so cut that down to two inches because you need um, a one inch piece for your thing right here so um where's the card <coughs> here we need a one inch strip right here embossed. So keep this two inch strip extra and you're gonna take your embossing folder and actually you do two out of two of them at a time. So get two pieces, put them in here and then um, stick them inside the embossing folder and you can do two of these strips at a time, then cut it at um, one inch. So you'll have a bunch of strips, okay? Hopefully that made sense to everybody. All right, so we don't need that. All right, <clears throat> so let me score. I mean, not score. Um, oh, great. Now I can't find my bone folder. There we go. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, this is my really old one. Ugh. <laughs> this is my really old bone folder. All right, so we're just gonna crease this really good so that it lays flat. Can you guys hear that train? I live about maybe a mile or so from the train tracks. So you can hear the train going by. All right, so there's our three fronts. This is our inside. That's just trash. Okay, so what I did with these was, I actually already did it, but I'm gonna show you. I took my white embossing, um, not white, white craft pad, and I did it before I cut them because it's just easier, but when you get your kit, you're gonna have it already cut. So you're just gonna take this really, really lightly and just run it over top of it. And that just makes the design on your paper really pop out. So I like to do this a lot with um, embossed cardstock because it just makes the design pop out so much more. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Kind of looks like snow on there. So if you have like a whole piece, that's what I did ahead of time. I just had this whole piece and I just went and did this. Because it's easier to do it when it's all together, but... You can still do it either way. And then just let it dry for a minute. So isn't that pretty? Love it, love it. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit to the side for a minute. All right, so then for the inside pieces, all we're gonna do is put these strips on there. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then we're gonna do our stamping. If I can get my glue to come out. Okay, mm, I think that's upside down. So this is five and a quarter by one half inch. And I'm just kind of offsetting it a little bit from the edge. I don't want it right up the, on the edge. And I see it's a sliver over. Let's just trim that. <clears throat> I like the back of this piece. It's got like music notes on it. Let's do both of these. Okay. So then this one, make sure they're not upside down. Have any of y'all been watching The Golden Bachelor? I was watching it this afternoon. closely I received a card with this layout oh watching closely <laughs> well um yes watch closely and Susan um Campfield she has the video too that shows you know step by step how to cut it and everything she shows like the whole thing on hers whereas I kind of show you after it's already done the cutting usually but I thought since this was a different kind of cutting I'd go ahead and show you all right, I don't know why I got a little sliver off of each of these. Oh, so anyway, I'm watching The Golden Bachelor, and he's like the nicest guy. He's like, just like your dream husband. And so this goes on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. But he's so sweet, and these women, you know, are all like head over heels in love with him. But he's just the nicest guy. But one of the girls had to go home because her daughter just had a baby. And um, she was my favorite one. And I'm like, dang it. Because I was kind of hoping, they had really good chemistry. So I was kind of hoping she, he, you know, she would win, but she had to leave. But they had a talent show and they all had to get up and do a talent. And I thought to myself, dang, if I ever have to do a talent show, I don't know what I'll do. But then one of them told jokes and I'm like, well, that's what I could do, just tell jokes. That'll be my talent. <laughs> Because I sure can't sing, <laughs> and I sure can't dance. So, I don't know. I guess that's about my only talent. Well, I can stamp. <laughs> but I don't think anybody would want to sit and watch that. <laughs> uh, I got 
a couple really, really sweet messages today in my um, email from a couple of you guys. I don't know if you're on here today or not, but just really sweet messages telling me how much you enjoyed the videos. And I was like, oh, so nice. All right, so we're going to put this on next. So the key here is making sure you're going to glue it down right to the edge here and just make sure that it lines up with the edge of that right there. So it should match up perfectly. So I'm just going to put glue right down this edge. And then lay that down and just make sure it lines up exactly with the edge of your card. So there we go. So we're going to do that on each one. These are super quick. I love showing you guys like super quick and easy cards. So that way you can make them yourself. I mean, sometimes I do ones that are a little bit more complicated, but these lately have been really simple. <clears throat> All right, one more strip of glue. And line it up. That's what I love about the glue because you have that like, you know, 10 or 15 seconds that you can move it around. Whereas like if you're using the, um, you know, what is that called? The stamp and seal tape. It's like once you stick that down, it's stuck. So you're just stuck with that. <clears throat> All right. These go right on the front and they should be dry by now. So we're just going to put that down. And I tried using a different color. You can use a different color, but um, it didn't look quite as good. So I just kept the same color theme with the sweet sorbet. And that goes edge to edge on there. But, oops, it just came off. But don't you love that white, how it pops out? I just think that's so pretty. Love it, love it. Make sure it's straight. <clears throat> One time I glued something down and I didn't wait long enough. And I, you know, I kind of threw it to the side and then it moved. <laughs> and I was like, dang it. So you always want to make sure you got it down pretty good before you set it to the side. I know. I think the liquid glue is really good. I used to only, I used to only use the, um, snail adhesive, which I still really like, but the, the liquid glue just really holds a lot better and it's never going to come apart. <clears throat> All right, we're going to stamp this. Let me get some scrap paper because I'm going to go off the edge a little bit. And for this one, we're using um, shaded spruce. Probably should have done this first because I got to sponge it and I don't want it to smear. All right, we're going to stamp right in the middle on our fun circles. I forgot the name of them. <laughs> uh. And this Peace on Earth comes from that stamp set, the Christmas Classics. Okay, <clears throat> so that's Shaded Spruce, and then we're gonna use the same Shaded Spruce, and I'm done with this glue for the leaf, but we're going to stamp off because we want it um, a lot lighter. So we're just going to put one on the edges there and the edge there. Oops. All right, so there you go. All right, and then we're gonna sponge that because I put it on there with just um, like how it was. And I said, that's just too white because if you notice, like see how the 
background on this has that um, kind of watercolory grayish look behind it. So when I put this on there, it was just so white. I was like, ooh. So I sponged it just to tone it down a little bit. So I took the, um, let me see, what did we use? Gray granite. So I used gray granite. And hopefully this is dry. Yep. All right, we're just gonna put a little bit of that on there. And that's just gonna tone down the stark white and make it look a little bit more um, antique-y kinda. <clears throat> But you want to make sure that your ink is really good and dry so it doesn't smear. So see the difference? It just tones it down a little bit. I tried stamping it on different color, but it didn't um, look as good. So definitely the white looks the best, but then sponging it made a difference too. Oh, I forgot to roll it in the green. So let me go back and do that too. My pad's kind of dry a little bit. That's why I gotta put so much. I love this Peace on Earth stamp though. It's so pretty. I used the same one on that tree, tree card I did. All right, so those are ready to go. Let me take my green back. And so that was gray granite. This is my shaded spruce again. And I like to take, um, when I'm not using a back piece, I like to take this and just roll it in the ink pad on the edges. So then you get at least a little bit of an edge there. Can you see that? See the difference? So it's just rolling it on the edge. It just gives it a little bit of color on the edge there. I'm not pressing too hard. Isn't that pretty? Love it. All right. <clears throat> so that was shaded spruce. So the only ink pads you need are shaded spruce, gray granite, and then your white craft pad. All right, so we're gonna put this on the front with some dimensionals. I've got a brand new pack. Oh, I need to read some comments. Let me see. I couldn't believe everybody used the glue glue. You know, when they had, when Stampin' Up! discontinued that seal, I brought like a hundred of them because they were on the clearance rack for like $2 or something. Really cheap. Um, <laughs> Verna says, I was wondering if you forgot to roll it. Yep, I did. I do have a good joke for tonight, yes. And you know, you guys, if um, STD paper, oh, she calls the DSP STD, oops, I don't need any more of those. Um, if you guys ever have a bad day and you're just like down in the dumps, you know, you could watch any of my videos and there's a joke pretty much most of the time at the very end, like the last five or 10 minutes. And you could just watch that. All right, I'm going to overlap it a little bit right there. Do you guys, after watching my videos, like never want to make just a single card again and you always make three at a time? <laughs> I find that I make a lot of multiples because it's just so much easier. If you've got all your stuff out, you might as well make three or four or five or ten. All right, now we're going to use our, oh, you know what? I forgot to bring the gems for this time. Okay, so we're definitely going to have some gems if it's over a $100 order, but I don't know which one, so I'll have to bring that next time on Saturday. Um, we're going to use the um, Festive Pearls, the gold ones, on this card. Let me get my take, take your pick tool. And, oh, this is almost empty. All right, so we're just going to use the gold ones here. 
put one there, right in the flower, right in the flower there. Oops, I got hair in there. I found that my hair is falling out. I think I told you guys that. Somebody said it's maybe because of COVID. I think that's what it is. Because it seems like it just started falling out worse lately. I don't have enough hair to spare. So. I hope it stops. And if you don't have a flower, just kind of stick it with the berries or something. All right. And then we need to spray it with super spray. <coughs> All right. Love it. It is going to make this paper curl because it's so thin. So just put something on top of it so it doesn't curl. And it'll lay back down again. So there you go. Three gorgeous cards. Aren't they pretty? Pretty, pretty. Love them. So there you go. So that is the card kit for the next two weeks. So if you place an order, you can get this for yourself and make them. All right. You guys ready for a joke? Let me read some comments real quick. Um, wow, Joan. I wish my hairstylist would say that. <laughs> Yes, I, I do. I have trouble saying your name. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. Um, oh, the diamond dots. Yes, that's what Starla made me. Uh, one of those diamond, uh, the diamond painting. She made me a giant one and had it framed and then it, it broke on the way here. Um, I know, that's shimmer spray. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love it. Um... Never make just one. Yeah, it's kind of like Lay's potato chips. You can't eat just one. You should never eat, you know, never just make one. Never make just one card. Um, oh, she said that cake card pulls out farther. It's three layers instead of two. Oh, I thought I pulled it out as far as I could. I'll have to go back and look at that. All right, let me pull the joke up. This one's funny. Okay, let me take a sip of water first. <laughs> All right, a brand new store just opened in New York City that sells husbands. I mean, I need to go there. <clears throat> when women go to choose a husband, they have to follow the instructions at the entrance. It says you may visit this store only once. There are six floors and the value of the products increase as you ascend the flights. You may choose any item from a particular floor or you may choose to go up to the next floor, but you cannot go back down except to exit the building. So a woman goes to the husband's store to find a husband. The first floor sign reads, floor one, these men have jobs. The second floor sign reads, floor two, these men have jobs and love kids. The third floor sign reads, floor three, these men have jobs, love kids, and are extremely good looking. Wow, she thinks, but feels compelled to just keep going. She goes to the fourth floor and the sign reads, fourth floor, these men have jobs, love kids, are drop-dead gorgeous, and help with housework. And she goes, oh my gosh, I can hardly stand it. Still, she decides to go to the fifth floor, where the sign reads, these men have jobs, love kids, are drop-dead gorgeous, help with housework, and have a strong romantic streak. She's so tempted to stay, but she says, I think I'm just going to go to the sixth floor. Floor six says, you're a visitor number 31,456,012. <laughs> there are no men on this floor. This floor exists solely as proof that women are impossible to please. Thank you for shopping at the husband's store. <laughs> See, I would have stopped at, at, at like the fifth one. <laughs> I think I would have stopped and controlled myself. <laughs> uh, I thought that was cute though. All right, you guys, so we are done for today. Sorry I was congested a little bit. I don't know where that came from because I've been fine all day. But I guess it's from mowing the grass and stuff. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you haven't done thumbs up yet, do that. We're still um, 
about 60 people behind that are watching haven't done it yet, so do a thumbs up. And like, subscribe, comment, place an order, anything you want. And don't forget about the starter kit special. There it is right there. $125 in product for $64 or $168 for $99. And free shipping and a paper pumpkin kit. So it's a great deal. And you don't have any obligation to do anything else. So I'd love to have you sign up under me if you want. All right, you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you back on Saturday at noon for another fun video. And hopefully I won't be all congested again. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the wonderful cards. I love, love, love all of them. And I'll have the winners picked on Saturday. <clears throat> I have to figure out what I'm giving as the prizes too. All right, take care.